The driving torque developed by the engine and transmission needs to be delivered to the wheels in a smooth and effective manner. Whether the vehicle is front or rear wheel drive, it's the job of the final drive and differential assembly to perform this task. In this module, we'll have a look at the operation of final drives and differentials as seen in current passenger and light commercial vehicles. Hi, I'm Clint. Welcome to Automate. The final drive may be mounted as part of the rear axle or it may be part of the transaxle housing. The final drive housing carries the differential components with the drive shafts connected internally or externally. All final drive assemblies work in a very similar manner, whether the vehicle is front or rear wheel drive. The main difference in a front wheel drive vehicle is that the differential and final drive unit is driven directly from the output shaft of the gearbox. As most front wheel drive vehicles are mounted east-west, the angular change required to deliver torque to the road wheels is already achieved. The gear set and differential pack are contained within one housing. Although, transaxles are not limited to east-west engine configurations. Some north-south designs also have their final drive and differential assemblies housed in the transmission cases. In this design, torque from the engine is delivered through the gearbox and tail shaft to the final drive gear set, where it is turned through 90 degrees. The torque is distributed through the differential to the drive axles and then the road wheels. Like what you see? To gain access to the most advanced automotive technical training available, visit our website and be the best technician you can be.